Okay, so before we get into today's video, you guys have seen the title, you know what it is. For all of my people who have subscribed from the radio video and are here for that kind of content, I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Don't worry, we're still working on getting these vents sorted out. I've got a couple ideas. I'm still trying to do my research before I go spending money on stuff and, you know, it not working. But I'm also going to be doing a video reviewing this radio letting you guys know what I think about it. So that's coming in the future. The vent video will be coming also, so don't worry. I see all your comments. I see you guys sending me messages and stuff. We will get there. I promise you it'll be worth the wait. But today's video, we're talking about swapping a manual tack cluster into this car. Now, any base model Civic, I believe CX and DX is going to have a cluster with no tack. Maybe. HX2, I don't know. I'm not super familiar with Civic trim levels and stuff like that, but I know base models, most Civics are gonna have a cluster like this. You got your coolant over here, fuel over here, speedometer in the middle, no tack. And for a stick shift, having no tack is not a good thing. If you're an experienced driver, not a big deal. For me personally, it doesn't really matter, but I would just like to have that tack over there. Helps in certain situations, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's talk about where you can find these tack clusters. I'll show you mine show you some things to look for, what not to look for, and we'll get into it a little bit more. Okay, so this is a cluster. As you can tell, we've already taken it apart a little bit, and don't worry, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that in the cluster that's currently in my car, but I wanna go over a few things before we get started, give you guys all the information that I know so you can do this yourself. So, I believe you can get these manual tack clusters from EXs and LXs. Now, there is a difference between the manual and the automatic. So this is a manual cluster. As you can see, we've got tack, speedo, fuel, and temp. This right here actually is the same exact cluster, but it's for an automatic. If you can tell, you've got the PRNDD to all that jazz for an automatic car. You can still use this if you wanted to, you're just gonna have that. Now, if you were buying one of these on eBay, this is obviously gonna be the cheaper one because not as many people want this. They don't wanna have that PRND, whatever, in their manual car. But if you solely care about the tack, buy one of these on eBay. They're a lot cheaper than the manual ones. If you guys don't know, these manual tack clusters on eBay sell for about $120 to $150, depending on condition. I've sold a few myself. They're worth some good money and you can pick them up for pretty cheap at the junkyard. So this one, I paid $35 for, I believe I paid the same for this. I was planning on using this and then I just happened to find this one when I was in the yard looking for some parts. Just to recap, you can find these in EXs and above from a 96 to 2000 Civic. Um, I'm not sure if EX was like a 99 to 2000 only. I don't know trims and years and all that good stuff. I just know 96 to 2000 Civic, if you see one in a junkyard, check it. And if it has this cluster, take it. Whether you're gonna use it or sell it, take it because you can use it, put it in your car, or you can sell it and make a little bit of money. So without further ado, we're gonna get straight into this, doing the swap. It is literally plug and play. All we're gonna do is take apart both clusters, remove the speedometer from both, and swap them out. And then we're gonna put it all back together, plug everything in, and we should have a working tack cluster so long as everything works in this, which I believe it should. There's no reason why it shouldn't, but we will find out. So I believe I've given you guys all the information you need to do this. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now let's talk about tools you will need for this. It's a very long list of things you'll need, so make sure you pay attention. Phillips head screwdriver, and that's it. I would recommend having different sizes bigger ones, smaller ones. Obviously, I'm probably gonna use two different or three different sizes of screwdrivers. Um, but yeah, all you really need is a Phillips head. You may need a flat head to pry the connectors off of the gauge cluster itself. But other than that, there's gonna be one screw here, one screw here to remove that surround. I believe there will be three or four more behind the surround that are actually holding the cluster in itself and it's gonna be really hard to film this, so I'm just gonna show you guys kinda of as I go. But basically, first step, go ahead and lower your steering wheel. You do not need to take your steering wheel off for this, which that is a plus. We're gonna lower that steering wheel and pull the two screws out from right there. Your wings to rise from the ashes. 
Top two screws out. This should now pop out. All right, so I did have to use a flathead. As you can see, there's going to be clips on the bottom. Now, every cluster I've pulled out of Junkyard Civics, most of the time this is already out or it's probably been taken off before, so I've never really had to pry it off like that. But there are two tabs here and here and they go into down here and it looks like there's some sort of sticky residue that helps hold it in so you may have to pry a little bit on the bottom just to get this out but came out one piece no problem that part's done it looks like you're going to have four screws holding in the actual cluster itself so you're gonna have one on the bottom right and bottom left and then you're gonna have two in the top so one on the top right and one on the top left. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those four. Alright, once you have those four screws out, your cluster is going to shift forward. You may have to shimmy a little bit, but it will come out. Now what I like to do, I like to lean it forward and then you're going to unplug the plugs on the back of this harness. I'm going to go ahead and use a flathead. Actually, I might not even have to. Yep, just like that. That one came out easy and that one came out easy. I believe it's just those two and we are free. Oh, nope, sorry, there was a third. Third one's out. And just like that, the old cluster is out. So let's go ahead and move on over and start disassembling this so we can put this speedometer into the new TAC cluster. So we got the gauge cluster here. This is our old one. This is the one that we're gonna be taking apart. Basically, it's super simple, not really complicated at all. Um, if you look around, the first thing we're going to be doing is taking this cover off. So if you look around, you can see that the clear part goes into these little tabs on the surround. There's going to be a bunch of them. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven right here. So essentially what you want to do is push down on that little part and as you can see it kind of separates so once you have them all popped pull out and the clear screen will come off so we got the clear screen off now we have to get this black shroud off so same exact thing that we just did with the clear screen there's gonna be the same kind of tabs. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven. So a little bit different this time, but same exact concept. You may actually have to go ahead and unplug this little light up here and move it out of the way. Just go ahead and do that. Pop that one. That one. Like so. And it will separate just like that. So once it separates, just wiggle it out. Now we have this piece off. Next, this cover is going to come off. Nothing to undo there. Just comes off like that. And then now we have to remove the old speedometer. So to do that, there are going to be four screws on the back that you need to remove. One, two, three, four. Our speedometer will come 
right out like that. Now this is all we need from our old cluster. This is the old cluster that was in the car. We need our speedometer out so we can transfer it to the new cluster. So I'm gonna go grab that. So we have the new cluster here. This is the TAC cluster. As you can see on the old cluster, it says 232,000 miles. Uh, our car obviously has 278,000 and we need the miles to match up, correct? So basically everything you just saw me do to the original cluster is what I've already done to this one. So don't worry, you're not missing any steps. Um, you would just do it to this cluster too. Do the same thing. So we're gonna take the old speedometer out of the manual cluster. And then we're going to take our speedometer from our car with the correct mileage and simply drop it in like that. So now we have a manual cluster with the correct mileage reading and it's all ready to go back together. So same thing, just in reverse. We may time lapse this a little bit. saw me disconnect that wire from the top and that bulb you see right here that bulb is gonna go right there okay that bulb is in the correct spot now we're gonna run this wire um, you can you can tell pretty easily where it needs to go just kind of follow it down make sure it goes into these little tabs and then as you can see right here, we have the hole for it. We're gonna go ahead and twist that in and then slide the wires down into the remaining two tabs. And just like that, that's the routing for it. If you need to see that, it goes from here, up, into this tab, over, into this one. Then it goes up through this tab and then the light goes right there. And that, that is it. That is how you swap over your speedometer and mileage to the new TAC cluster. Now I'm gonna give this a little bit of a clean down here because it's super dirty. And then we will go ahead and start reinstalling. So the cluster is ready to go. We got the TAC speedometer with our mileage correct to the car, fuel, coolant temp, everything's good to go. We're gonna go ahead and install this, but before we do that, we're gonna plug it in, start the car, make sure everything's working like it should, and then uh, we'll put everything back together. Okay, so we have the TAC cluster plugged in. Just for reference, I just filled the car up today, so this should go up to full. Obviously, this is gonna stay low and we'll have to watch it and see if it goes up. Uh, from my understanding, this is plug and play. So it will plug in, the TAC will work, and everything will work like it should. Um, I've compared the back of the TAC cluster to the cluster that came out of the car they look exactly the same all the plugs are the same the automatic TAC cluster had an extra plug on the side and I believe that is for the lights on the park reverse drive all that good stuff so everything's plugged in we're gonna turn this over we should see our fuel gauge go up let me turn the air down should see our fuel gauge go up, and it is. And we are gonna go ahead and start the car and see if the tack moves. Look at that. Plug and play, guys. No wiring necessary. You just put your speedometer and mileage in there, and you're good to go. Now you have a tack. Look at that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and shut this off and get it all reinstalled.
then just like that, you are done. And there you guys have it. There is the official tutorial on how to install a TAC cluster. Let's check it out. There's the TAC. Works perfect. Fuel gauge works. Don't know about the speedometer yet because I haven't driven it. But the TAC works. Fuel gauge works. I'm just going to assume the speedometer and the coolant temp works. And there it is. So there you go, guys. That's how simple it is to get a tachometer in your base model Civic. This is a CX, so it has literally nothing but AC. Um, I didn't have a tack, as you guys saw, and now I do. Now, even with filming this, it probably only took me 30 minutes if I wasn't filming it and I was just getting after it. You could do this in 15, 20 minutes, absolutely no problem. Everything's super easy. You really just need a Phillips head, maybe a flat head. Super simple, and I hope that this video helps you guys out. I'm really enjoying making these informative tutorials on how to do things to these cars. You guys seem to really enjoy them. Um, my last video on installing this radio seemed to blow up a little bit. For my standards, it blew up. It's only got 2,000 views, so that's not really blowing up, but based off of everything that I've posted recently, that's blowing up for me. So I really appreciate you guys watching the videos, learning how to do this stuff with me. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to let me know by leaving a like, leave a comment down below, whatever's on your mind. If you love it, you hate it, you're gonna do it to your car. I love responding to you guys. I, I respond to every single comment, trust me. If you go through my videos, you'll see a response on every single one. But that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to go check out the playlist on this car. We're doing a whole build series on it. There's gonna be more to come. Those of you who have been waiting for the video on the vents, that'll be coming soon. I'll also be doing a review on this radio. And I'm not really sure what's gonna be next after that, you know? I'm, uh, I'm open to ideas. If you guys have anything you'd like to see, let me know. You guys know kind of the direction I'm taking with this car, so if you have any ideas, feel free to drop it in the comments. But there you go, guys. That's how you install a TAC cluster, manual TAC cluster, into a base model Civic. All you gotta do is go find an EX or an LX in a junkyard, pull it out, swap your speedometer, and that's it, guys. So get out there, get in the junkyard, find you one of these. If you've been wanting a TAC for a while, that's how simple it is. So. Again, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and check out the playlist on this build. And that's going to be it for this week's video. See you guys next week.